This is a Final Third Podcast Quick Hit. Hey guys, it's Mike with the Final Third Podcast. We're here at Parks Place Pub. And I'm Will. We're doing a tasting with RD1 today. We've got four of their products here that we're blasting through really fast for a quick little note. The mash bill on this is 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. They're all aged four plus years. Um, we're starting with their standard bourbon. Um, just on me, I get a classic bourbon nose, a lot of vanilla, very light for um, Very light, color is very light. Drinks under, it's 98, 98 proof. 98 proof, drinks well under its proof, but, but, but very pleasant. It's kind of nougaty to me a little bit. On the finish, it's kind of nougaty. Yeah. Um, he mentioned caramel when he was telling us, but I got way more nougat on that side of it. So it is very good, but definitely drinks lighter than 98 yeah. proof. So we're going to blast through these fast for you because we've already tasted through them. The second one we tasted is a Kentucky Stray Bourbon Whiskey. Same mash bill as their base, but this is aged in French oak. Four plus years, and this is 101 proof. So, you know, tell me what you're feeling on this one, Mike. I mean, I was thinking this one kind of reminded me of, like, French toast sticks. Uh, a lot of vanilla came through on this one, and, like, maybe a little bit of powdered sugar. Vanilla, powdered sugar. French oak, if you don't know, if you age it too long, you can get a lot of spice coming off of it. Right. We'll and kill it. I'm not getting that with this. It's a nice, warm, medium baking spice, but it's not overpowering. So... Kudos to them. Very good. Um, they're using inner stave to kind of uh, finish their uh, barrels with staves. They showed us a couple of their finishing staves that they're using, which are really cool. Never seen a, a cut a amber chain on a, of, yeah. uh, It looked like a, 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 a necklace French, full French of oak a, chain. Yeah, French that was pretty cool. Chain. Yeah, Very I like cool. that. It's awesome. So now, Ooh. what are we thinking? Amberana. All right, so we're moving on to the Amberana. This one is a four-year product as well, 110 proof. It is very, very strong still. Rob, very heavy. Rob is crushable. Rob might be able to drink this one. He might be able to. They finish it for probably about two weeks, and they start tasting it every week after that. They don't want it to get away from them. Their Amberana staves have tiny little holes drilled all through them, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, I've never seen um, that. This is coming in at 110 proof. So this is the highest proof one that um, we tasted of their core products. Um, again, on the nose, uh, for an Amberana, I get a ton of butterscotch. Um, I get caramel. I get butterscotch. I do get a little bit of the Amberana cinnamon that you always get, but it's not overpowering. Mine was gingerbread. It gave, kind of gave out yeah. that like sweet gingerbread spice. That's where like the cinnamon came from. Or nutmeg almost. Not quite cinnamon, but nutmeg on like the and gingerbread side. On the palate, for me, I get a ton of coconut. I get a real blast of coconut on the palate, um, along with some of that uh, Amberana. But again, like we've had Amberana finishes. They're over the top. Way this one's power. not like that at all. Not, so, not quite. Rob, you might be able to drink this kudos one. Kudos to these guys for staying on top of their Amberana finish and not yeah. letting it get away from them. Yeah, check them out. Last one here. Last one. Let's go. All right. So the last one here is Kentucky Straight Bourbon finished in oak and maple barrels. Um, it is a very, very strong maple. Um, not overpowering, but it is very strong. Which is surprising because when I first tasted it, I'm like, oh, this is a wet barrel they use for the maple. But they no. actually break their maple barrels up. They infrared heat them and dry them out completely and then make a stave out of them like a wire stave so honestly they're not wet um these are finished with staves and i think you know look it's very sweet it's got a definite strong maple presence but if maple's your jam hey you know you want a maple old fashioned and you can go really light on the shirt uh syrup or sugar with this i think it'd work yeah i think this would be a really good one to have uh you know as if, if you're into having breakfast drinks, this is that sweet sensation that you get with your pancakes, right? Yeah. Everybody wants that same thing with the maple syrup. So yeah. I think this is this is kind of on par with that and like a real heavy toasted pecan flavor too. Right. So this is very good. Yeah, so again, they're doing a lot of sourcing right now because they're just, their distillery is being built. Um, their single barrel program is very uh, focused on a lot of different sourced varieties. But their core products are all coming uh, where they're laying down barrels out of Western Kentucky Distillery. 
if you know uh, Jacob Call and Ron Call and Clayton Call, those guys know what they're doing. So they're really got a good uh, set of juice behind them. So anyway, um, I think overall, they're going to be successful and be around yeah. for a long time. Yeah, take some time to catch on, but I, I think they're doing well. So thanks for joining us, guys. All right, cheers. cheers.